I found this cardboard geode decor from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to remove it from the stand and then I just took a flathead screwdriver and removed the back. There was one little staple that I just pulled out with a pair of pliers as well. And then I got this tray from Hobby Lobby. It's wood in the center and then has a metal rim. I'm going to lay my cardboard geode in the center and I'm just going to hold that down with some hot glue and then just position it and lay it down. I have this metallic purple paint. It's from the Finnabar collection. It's acrylic paint. You can find this sometimes at Michael's or Hobby Lobby, but I know Deco Art also has a metallic line, so any metallic purple will work. And I'm just going to paint the exposed wood with the metallic paint. Before that fully dries, I'm going to take some dark purple sparkles that I have. I believe I found these from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put them along the outer edge where I painted. And I'm just moving it around a little with this paintbrush and wiping it off the center of my geode. I have two plastic cups and I have my Craft Smart clear resin. I have a part A and a part B. And I got this from Michaels and I'm just going to fill my first plastic cup using the lines on the side of the cup as my measuring tool. And then I'm going to put the same amount of Part B in the second cup and then I'm going to mix them together. When mixing resin you want to make sure that you have equal parts of A and B and mix them well together. This is what helps the drying process. If you don't have equal parts it will not dry properly. Another brand of the epoxy I like is the Amazing Clear Cast, and you can get that right from Michaels as well. I like to get them from Michaels because you can use your 40% off coupon that they have pretty often. And once it was fully mixed, I'm just going to dump it inside my tray. Now for this first layer of epoxy, I know it's not going to cover to the depth of the tray that I want it to, but I'm going to put enough that it covers the entire base of the tray. And then I'm just going to move the epoxy around. Now epoxy is self-leveling, so while it's drying, you want to make sure that you have it on a nice flat surface. And now we're trying to mimic one of those geode trays using this decor we found at Dollar Tree. Now one important step that I did not show you guys is you want to make sure you seal around the tray before pouring the epoxy in. Sometimes I just use some hot glue, and this is just so the epoxy doesn't pour through the bottom of the tray. Now once my first layer was dry, I let it sit overnight. I took more epoxy, mixed it, and then just dumped it on top. And this will be my final layer. I don't always do two layers if it's not a thick project. I did two layers here because I wanted to add some detail in it and I didn't want it all to sink to the bottom. So I have this heat gun. It's from Recollections brand. It doesn't give off as much heat as a normal heat gun, but this is great for getting the air bubbles out of the epoxy. It makes it nice and smooth. And then I have these gold flakes. These are also from the Finnabar collection. And I'm just pouring those on the outside of the geo decor. And this is just going to give it some detail. And I'm just using the popsicle stick to help move the little flakes around inside the epoxy so they're not sticking up and drying outside of the epoxy. And then you're going to allow this to dry overnight. You can clean up any epoxy that got on your rim as well before it dries. And there we go. Now we have this very easy epoxy geo tray. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, transfers, tissue paper, and stencils can be found on our webpage at chalkitupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can check out other tutorials over on our webpage as well. Have a great day.